So have you uh, ever dated a Taiwanese guy? So if you or no? No, never. never. It's, it's mostly like a white guy. When yeah. it's, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's an interesting phenomenon, but I, I don't right? actually understand. Yeah. I do get a lot more attention from than the local I do. Guy? Yeah, from the local guys. I think like what my friends and I like we talk about is that Taiwanese guys need to be more brave. What about your dating life <laughs> in Taiwan? Yeah. <laughs> my dating life yeah, in Taiwan. Life, yeah. uh, so have you uh, ever dated a Taiwanese guy? So if you or no? No, never. I've never dated a Taiwanese. So so why? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Well, I don't know. I think it's more about like preferences and everything. Um, people I I could be attracted to and everything, and. Yeah, I, I've never been attracted to a Taiwanese or... So do you think it's, uh, it's about language barrier or a cultural oh, difference no. or just the, uh, the appearance just not attract you? I mean, it's personal, so... I think it's more personal yeah. because I don't think the language is a problem. Like the yeah. language, I, I'm still learning Chinese and like English is like the international language, I, I would say. So as long as you have English in a relationship, I think it's fine. So I don't think the language barrier is something like um, it's, it's a, pro a, big le a big issue yeah. yeah maybe cultural differences sometimes um, I'm not speaking for myself because I've never yeah. been with the Taiwanese but yeah. I could imagine what could be like the issues and maybe cultural differences yeah. or things like this but that's that's it okay so is there any like Taiwanese guy try to approach you or <laughs> try to say hi to you yes once in the MRT how is going I mean Oh, um... Just say hi and then he leave? No, he said hi and... He was speaking English yeah. to me. So he said hi with, um, and he was asking my name and everything. And I, I, was, I was not interested because like... Because he is totally <laughs> stranger, right? Yes, yeah, like yeah. I, I, I find it a bit odd and I don't really like when people approach me like that in a... I think you prefer like a natural way, like yeah, fri exactly, friends, friends, exactly, friends, yeah. Exactly, yeah. more natural way, yeah. like if it's too... No, no, no. Too I really, aggressive. Yeah, I mean it was not aggressive at all. Yeah. It was not aggressive at all, but to me it was... I was like, okay, he's talking to me, but <laughs> that's it, we stop that's here. It. Yeah. So what about your dating life <laughs> in Taiwan? <laughs> No, I'm not dating. My yeah. housemate, though, is dating. Yeah. I live with two English girls and a Taiwanese yeah. guy. Yeah. And the Taiwanese guy and the English girl are dating. So, uh, In my opinion, it's hard to see uh, a Taiwanese guy oh. and a foreign girl, right? Mm -hmm. It's usually like maybe foreign guy with a uh, Taiwanese girl. So I want to talk about this topic. Mm -hmm. So. Do you have anything you can share <laughs> to the audience? <laughs> Personally, <laughs> no. no. But I agree. I think it's right? much more rare to see a Taiwanese guy and an English girl. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't know. I think I, it's an interesting phenomenon, but I, I don't right? actually understand. Yeah, I'm not sure what the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's also a stereotype. Like, yeah. and But also, is, you know, after coming to Taiwan, like I think you do see a lot more... Yeah. English guy or foreign guy, Taiwanese girl. Yeah, I think also the language, the language yeah. barrier maybe often makes it more complicated because like, you know, if you have yeah. two different first languages, like you're, you're either going to be communicating, someone's communicating in their second language. So that will make it more, more of like a yuan <laughs> yeah. I think like what my friends and I, like we talk about is that Taiwanese guys need to be more brave. Brave? brave. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we think they need to be more brave and uh, courage, uh, yeah. like have more courage to approach yeah. foreigner girls. Because I think sometimes we look a little bit intimidating and scary, but we yeah. aren't. We are not. I think language barrier. Like I have seen a lot of mixed. But you can speak Mandarin, so that yeah, this is definitely not <laughs> no, a language no barrier. barrier. Yeah. No. Yeah, but uh, from the appearance, they will think uh, maybe foreigner. there's a maybe no. language barrier. But even if language barrier, like I have a lot of friends that are like Taiwanese yeah. and I feel like when you have like these mixed culture friendships yeah. or relationships, that's like the way you understand someone else's perspective. Mm -hmm. You learn, you grow yeah. as a person and you learn a new language too. So I think it, it doesn't matter, like they can always just approach foreign girls mm -hmm. or guys um, to be friends first, just be friends, you know, mm -hmm. and hang out with each other and if that goes well, then 
you can see how other things go too you know mm. they shouldn't be afraid they're like they always look so scared like just talk to us oh my god okay so <laughs> have you date Taiwanese guy no I right? So that's weird, you know, that's what I talk about it, I mean, because she's living in Taiwan, yeah. but the Taiwanese guy is so shy to talk to you. What were you saying? I yeah. was gonna say that every time she talks to a Taiwanese guy, yeah. not not looking for something, but just like just, she has a just question, make a friend, yeah. um, not even make friends, just like, oh, just to ask just a question. No more, yeah. Um, they always look so surprised. That also like intimidates them because it's like now there's no language barrier with them. Maybe you need to make a song here. Like, <laughs> hey, so it's on one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Yeah, right, right, maybe right here. But you know what the other thing is? Yeah. I think it's also our sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Like the things we find funny and yeah. two like pop culture. Yeah. Like Taiwanese, like maybe the, the pop culture and like the things you talk mm -hmm. about, maybe there are not a lot of topics that you can talk about together. Oh, uh, like common interest. Though. Yeah. I have gone on one date here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Taiwanese girl, right? Taiwanese guy. A Taiwanese guy. Yeah. Okay, sure. Would yeah. you mind to share? Yeah. Yeah, no, of yeah. course. I mean, I sort of I hadn't really used any like of the sort of the dating apps before yeah. I got here. Um, but a friend of mine decided, you know, yeah. well, we both decided, oh, let's let's get Tinder, let's sort of have a look, see what it's like in Taiwan. Yeah. And I ended up going on a date with this yeah. guy, um, which was nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like. I mean, I don't have much yeah. experience dating in general, yeah. so I couldn't really compare to the UK. But I enjoyed myself, yeah. um, and I know I know several of my friends who have yeah. gone on a lot more dates, both with Taiwanese people and internationals. Mm -hmm. So even just one date, I just want to curious. Do you think, uh, like, for for Taiwanese uh, guy, they they will kind of have an expectation that oh, you're a foreigner, so they will have an image of you. <laughs> S something like that. Do you think? Do you feel that? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think one thing I have noticed here yeah. is sometimes if I'm going out to a club yeah. or whatever, um, I do get a lot more attention from than the I local do. Guy? Yeah, from the local guys than I would in the UK. You know, uh, yeah. I get hit on a lot more here mm -hmm. than I do back in the UK, and I find that quite interesting. You think only in Taiwan that you feel that. Yeah, I don't. I very rarely get hit on in the UK, mm -hmm. but it happens. It's happened, you know, a fair amount here, which is nice. Um, it's, it's got a <laughs> I mean, confidence boost. I mean, you know? if you talk about like dating culture, of yeah. course, you have a lot of opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's nice, but it does make me slightly wonder a bit. Is why? You know, right? Why? Yeah. Why? Why the difference? Is it just because? I'm not a Taiwanese guy. Yeah. Is it because I, you know, I'm a native English speaker? I, d yeah. I don't know. You know, in my opinion, I just guess. I don't know because maybe how do you say it in English? Um, like the the grass is always greener on the other side. On the other side. So so maybe that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It could be. Yeah. Could be if, if someone's sort of only dated Taiwanese people before. Yeah, they want to try uh, maybe something they should uh, maybe interesting something like that. Yeah. Exactly. You know, just yeah. something a bit different. We'll see how this goes. See. Yeah, see where this goes. Have you like ever dated a Taiwanese guy in Taiwan? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I started dating my boyfriend like really early since we came here to Taiwan, but I do also think that Taiwanese guys are like really shy. I do think that Taiwanese girls are more, uh, they talk to me more. I, I, yeah. I can say that Taiwanese guys are really uh, really shy because really my classmates in, in my department, yeah. they, they barely talk to me. Really? Or, Even though you're a classmate? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think that most of my classmates, their English is not that good, so they're yeah. kind of uh, intimidated to talk oh, to me. So, so you think uh, language is a barrier, or oh, still yeah. have uh, like cultural differences? I think it's also cultural differences because in the West we're definitely more open and more extroverted. Yeah. So yeah. For I have observed, uh, all the international national couples on the street, it's maybe like twenty percent, ninety percent, like uh, foreigner guy. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. with, with a, with a yeah, Taiwanese yeah. girl. So what do you think about that? I, I don't know. Sometimes I do think it's kind of weird because it's yeah. always like that. So yeah, it makes yeah. me think that maybe like it, it's mostly like a white guy with yeah. it. <laughs> with a, maybe not Taiwanese girl. It's yeah, an Asian, Asian, Asian yeah. girl, right? Uh, I don't know. I would like to think that it's actually because he likes her. But I think uh, some cases it's because they fetishize yeah. Asian girls.